Now, from the free body diagram that we have drawn there, we have found that the unbalanced horizontal force at C, that is P, is 0.08 kilonewtons. And we have done that so that the P at C, that is 0.08 kilonewtons, plus the horizontal reaction at D, that is 0.24 kilonewtons, can balance the horizontal reaction at A, which is 0.32 kilonewtons. But unluckily, there is, we, we don't have such a force. Now, we have worked out the moments and the reactions under the assumptions that a horizontal force P is 0.08 kilonewtons acting at C to prevent the side sway. Actually, there is no such force acting at C. We know that if a force of 0.08 kilonewtons is applied at C, it will neutralize the effect of assumed force that is 0.08 kilonewtons at C. And a neutral consideration will show that if a force of 0.08 kilonewtons is applied at C, it will cause some sway moments at the joints B and C of the pot of flame. That's what will happen to the, uh, to the fixed joints B and C. They are going to sway because of that application of a horizontal force at C of 0.08 kilonewtons. So what happens? So what we are going to do, we are going to calculate or we are going to assume some arbitrary moments at B and C in a certain ratio and then we distribute the same to the other joints. Now, this is how we are going to do it. Eh? Now, last time we said that um, when we were, we were introducing this talk, uh, the, when we were introducing unsymmetrical pot of frames, we said that the bending moment on the member BA on, uh, divided by the bending moment on the member CD will be given by this formula. I over I, that is the moments of inertia of those two columns, multiplied by L2 squared over L1 squared, where L2 is the length of the column CD and L1 is the length of the column BA. Now, we will find that I and I definitely will cancel out. So we are going to have L2 squared, L2 is 4 meters, that is CD is 4 meters, therefore 4 squared divided by BA is also for uh, 4 meters, so we got 4 squared. And this is going to give us 1 over 1. So the arbitrary moment we are going to assume uh, in this ratio of 1 is to 1, that is MBA is to MCD. Let's assume a, a moment of 2 kilonewtons per meter by 2 kilonewtons per meter. That is using this ratio. 2 kilonewtons per meter is on the member BA. Therefore, we got on the member BA a moment of 2 kilonewtons meter. And on the member CD, we got a moment of 2 kilonewtons meter. So, on the, mem on the member BA, we got 2 kilonewtons meter. And on the member CD, we got 2.0 kilonewton meter. Now, after assuming those uh, two moments, we now have the joints, the spans, and the distribution factors, the same as the ones that we had on the on the other on the other table. Then below that we have the assumed fixed end moments. Let, let us call them assumed fixed end moments because we have just assumed them from that ratio. So after that, we are going to distribute. And on the joint B, we got an excess moment of negative 2.0. Change the sign from positive to negative. Then distribute on member B, A, negative 2, multiplied by 3 over 7, that is negative 0 0.86. Then on member B, C, negative 2 times 4 over 7, that is negative 1.14. On member C, B, it will be the same as member B, C. On member CD, it will be the same on member, like on that on member BA. Then after that, we carry over half of negative 1.14 carried over from C to, from carried over from B to C. That is negative 0 0.57. Half of negative 1.14 carried over from C to B, that is negative 0 0.57 as well. 
Then from there we distribute excess moment on joint B, we got positive 0 0.57. Change the negative sign to positive. That ne uh, positive 0 0.57 distribute on BA, multiply by 3 over 7, that is positive 0 0.24. On member BC, we got positive 0 0.57 times 4 over 7, that is positive 0 0.33. On the other members, the same case, since we have similar and balanced moment. Then from there, we carry over from B, carry over half of 0 0.33 to joint C, that is 0 0.17. From C, carry over half of 0 0.33 to joint B, that is positive 0 0.17. Then distribute again. Unbalanced moment or excess moment, negative 0 0.17. Change the positive sign to negative. So we are going to have my negative 0 0.17 times 3 over 7, that is negative 0 0.07. On member BC, negative 0 0.17 times 4 over 7, that is negative 0 0.10. The same case happens on joint C, on member CB and CD. Then after that, carry over half of negative 0 0.10 from joint C to joint B, that is negative 0 0.05. Half of negative 0 0.10 from joint B to joint C, that is negative 0 0.05. And finally, we, we carry out or so we determine the first distribution. Excess moment on joint B, positive 0 0.05. Change the negative sign to positive. Then distribute on member BA, 3 over 7 times, positive 0 0.05. That is positive 0 0.02. On member BC, 4 over 7 times Positive 0 0.05, that is positive 0 0.03. The same case on joint C, on member CB and CD. Then our final moments, adding all these moments from the fixed end moments to the last distribution, we are going to have positive 1.33 on member BA, on member BC, negative 1.33 kN meter. The same case on the other members, CB as well as CD. Then our free body diagram is going to look like this. On member BA, we got positive... 1.33 kN meter on member BC we got a negative negative 1.33 on member C B we got positive 1.33 then on member C D we got negative so that is negative 1.33 then from there we are going to determine the horizontal reactions horizontal reactions let me carry them out here the horizontal reaction at a will be given by this moment at b of positive 1.33 divided by the span a b which is four meters and that is going to give us a horizontal reaction of 0 0.33 kilonewtons the same case to horizontal reaction at d so we got uh, 0 0.33 kilonewtons. It is positive, so it's going to act on the right hand side. And then the horizontal reaction at D is also going to be positive 1.33 divided by the span C to D, which is 4 meters. And that's going to that's also going to be positive 0 0.33 acting towards the right hand side direction. So, the reaction at D will also act towards the right-hand direction. So, we got HD, which is also 0 0.33 kilonewtons. Now, the unbalanced force at C will be equal to the sum of these two horizontal forces or horizontal reactions. So the horizontal reaction at A is 0 0.33, that one at D is also 0 0.33. Therefore, the unbalanced force at C, that is P, will be given by horizontal reaction at A, that is 0 0.33, plus horizontal reaction at D, another 0 0.33, which is going to be 0 0.66. So we got 0 0.66 kN. So that is the unbalanced force at C. The unbalanced force at unbalanced force at C. But the actual unbalanced horizontal force is 0 0.08 kilonewtons. Remember, we had the 0 0.08 kilonewtons and unbalanced horizontal force at C, that is P. After subtracting the horizontal reaction at D from the horizontal reaction at A, which was 0 0.32 
at A minus 0 0.24 at D, which gave us 0 0.08. Therefore, the actual sway moments in the members due to sway force of 0 0.08 kilonewtons may be found out by proportion as in the table below. So the assumed sway is 0 0.66 kilonewtons, which we got after all which we had found it after adding the horizontal reaction at A plus the horizontal reaction at D, which was 0 0.33 each, since they were acting towards the same direction. So we had an unbalanced uh, force at C of 0 0.66 kilonewtons, which is now the assumed sway. The actual sway is 0 0.08 kilonewtons. So these are we got it. Now, for us to get the actual sway, remember this part uh, is what we we want to find out for the assumed sway of 0 0.66 kilonewtons we had the following um, the following moments that is on the member b on joint b we had positive 1.33 on the member bc we had negative 1.33 on joint c member cb negative 1.33 and on cd positive 1.33 non sway what we had just uh, concluded on our a second distribution table we had on member b a positive two uh, what positive 1.27 on member bc negative 1.27 on member cb positive 0 0.97 and on member cd negative 0 0.97 now for us to get uh, the actual sway we are going to say this if an assumed sway of 0 0.66 kilonewtons is giving us a moment for member B, A, we are going to change this sign from positive to negative. Is giving us a moment of negative 1.33 kilonewtons meter. What about an actual sway of 0 0.08 kilonewtons? How much moment is it going to give us? So we are going to cross multiply and this is going to give us 0 0.08 multiplied by negative 1.33. Then we divide this by... 0 0.66 kilonewtons and this is going to give us a moment of negative 0 0.16 kilonewtons meter that is on member BA. On member BC we are going to, to do the same. We ask ourselves if an assumed a sway of 0 0.66 kilonewtons is giving us a moment of we change this negative side to positive so we got positive 1.33 what about 0 0.08 kilonewtons? How much moment will it give us? So in cross multiply, 0 0.08 multiplied by positive 1.33 and then we divide this by 0 0.66 and it's going to give us a moment of positive 0 0.16 kilonewtons meter. On the member CB, we are going to have this and on the member CD, we are going to have that, negative 0 0.16. Then to get the final moments, we are going to add uh, this moment on the actual sway plus this moment on the non-sway. So on member BA, we are going to have minus 0 0.16 plus 1.27, which is 1.11. On member BC, positive 0 0.16 minus 1.27, that is negative 1.11. On member CB, we got 0 0.16 plus 0 0.97, we got 1.13, and on member CD, minus 0 0.16 minus 0 0.97, that is negative 1.13. From there, we are now going to calculate the horizontal reaction at A as well as at D. Now, for us to get the horizontal reaction at A, we are going to take the moment on the member BA, which is positive 1.11. We divide by the span AB, which is 4 meters. And that is going to give us a horizontal reaction of 0 0.28 kilonewtons, which is going to act towards the right hand side since it is a horizontal reaction. Uh, since it is a positive, positive reaction, then the horizontal reaction at D will be given by on the member CD, we got a moment of negative 1.13. So negative 1.13 divided by the span C to D, which is 4 meters. 
that is going to give us a horizontal reaction of negative 0 0.28 kilonewtons as well uh, but in this case it is going to act towards the left hand side direction so in this case you can find that we don't we now don't have an unbalanced force at c since the resultant of these two uh, reactions is zero so that is what we got horizontal reaction at a that is 0 0.28 kilo newtons then the horizontal reaction at b that is also 0 0.28 kilo newtons we now don't have an unbalanced uh, an unbalanced force at at a then finally ladies and gentlemen we are now going to plot our bending moment diagram <clears throat> but before we do that we must calculate the bending moment at e on the span bc so we are going to have this the bending moment at e on the span bc will be given by wab divided by l and this will be W is the point rod of 4 kilonewtons, A is 1.5 meters, B is 2.5 meters, divided by the span BC, which is 4 meters. And that's going to give us a moment of 3.75 kilonewtons meter. So with that, we can now plot our... We can now plot our bending moment diagram starting with the bending moment diagram starting with the bending moment at E. So for 3.75, let me have it at that point. And on the other this is point E equivalent to that. So this is a maximum moment of 3.75 kilo newtons meter. Then at B, on the member BC, we got negative 1.11, approximately that point. Uh, on member CB, we got, on member CB, we got a positive 1.13, or negative. Let's say, one, one, there. Somewhere there. Yep. So we are going to join this moment of 1.11 to the other moment of 1.13. So here we have 1.11 kilo newton meter and here we got 1.13 kilo newtons meter. Then on member CD we got negative 1.13. So 1.13 almost up to that point. Then at D we got zero. So we join that to D, which is zero. So here we have 1.13 kilonewtons meter. Then on uh, member B A, we got positive 1.11. So 1.11, let's say that point. And then at A, we got it as zero. So we are going to join this 1.11 to zero at A. Or there. Oh, so this is x so this is a negative moment negative moment this one is a, a positive moment negative negative then to complete our bending moment diagram this is our bmd we are going to shade off the outline of our bending moment diagram for it to be very clear and visible and smart So ladies and gentlemen, that's how we plot the bending moment diagram for an unsymmetrical photo flame that is unsymmetrically loaded. So join me in yet another lesson as we look yet into another unsymmetrical photo frame. Subscribe to our channel, like our video, give us positive comments and share our video to your friends. See you in yet another lesson. Yeah?